na mjambo mpenzi mtazamaji popote pale ulipo karibu kwenye runinga ya kunyie haya ndo taarifa tulizo kuandalia usiku wa Idadi ya visa vipya vya COVID-19 vimeanza kupanda kwa kasi. Ngano wa hariri wataka vyombo vya habari vizaidiwe. Wakilishi wodi wasema watamtimua tena gavana wa Iguru. Wanafunzi wa Kenya 88 waliokuwa Sudan Kusini warejea nchini. Na mkaribu kwenye taarifa zetu rasmi katika visa vya hivi punde wagonjwa 259 wamedhibitishwa kuwa na virusi vya corona huku kaunti ya Lamu ikiwa hivi punde kusajili kisa cha covid kama anavyotujuza Mwanabari wetu Ikrandeko. Idadi ya visa vipya vya COVID-19 imeanza kupanda kwa kasi kwa sababu ya maambukizi kuongezeka katika jamii na vile vile uwezo kupima sampuli nyingi kutoka kwa watu nchini. And this really should worry each and every one of us because it's obvious and it's a bad indicator that the situation is getting worse within the country. We know two counties now have established community transmission. That is Nairobi and Mombasa. About three or four counties are having large clusters. And basically this is because of truck drivers. That is basically Busia, Kajiado and Kiambu. Waziri msaidizi wa afya daktari Masi Mwangangi ya misikitika jumapili. Kwa mba hali nazidi kwa mba ya nchini kote akiwa imiza raya. Kufuata na kuzingatia sheria na kanuni zilizo tolewa kuthibiti kwenye kwa COVID-19. Haitha katika muda wa saa 24 zilizo pita. Daktari Mwangangi ya mesema kuwa watu wapitao miambili hamsini na tisa. Wamepatikana na virusi vya corona baada ya watala mkuchukua sampuli. Elfu mbili miya saba kumina nane katika visa vya hivi pula kunda wagonjwa miyamoja hamsini na tisa ni wanaume na umiyamoja ni wajinsia wakike. The nation is the sum total of our 47 counties and if the counties have met the necessary thresholds then the nation as a whole Nairobi ingali inaongezeka kwa visa vipya jumapili ikirekodi 127 na kaunti ya Lamu ndio ya hivi punde kuwa na wagonjwa wa COVID-19 na hivyo kupandisha idadi ya kaunti zilizo na wagonjwa kufika 41 kati ya zote 47 nchini wagonjwa wawili zaidi wa meangamia wakifikisha watu 144 idadi jumla ya vifo kutoka na maradhi haya nchini serikali za kaunti zimehimiza zi ya kikisha kisha zinaimarisha mchakato wa kupima sampuli kuweza kutambua ugonjwa kuimarisha mbinu ya kutafuta watu walio tangamana na ugonjwa na vile vile ziwe tayari kuwapokea wa Kenya lakini pia wakazi wengine wanaoweza kuitaji matibabu ikrandeko runinga ya kulumie muungano wa wanahabari umefikia na kuwa wanahabari wasaidiwe huku wakipendekeza wa serikali uweze kutenga pesa ya kwa wauni waandishi wa habari we need an agent convening of stakeholders to discuss the state of media in the COVID-19 and post-COVID-19 period. And toward this end, KEG and other representative bodies, including the Kenya Union of Journalists, the Kenya Correspondents Association, the Association of Media Women in Kenya, and the Media Owners Association, together with the regulatory bodies, such as the Media Council of Kenya, and the Communications Authority and the Ministry of uh, Information, Communications and Technology will gather to find joint approaches to problems currently facing the sector. In that convening, a key idea, a key pursuit that KEG is putting on the table is the establishment of a media sustainability fund to help the industry survive the crisis we are currently in. That fund, such funds are already in operation in Europe, in the United States, and in some African countries. They have been put in place out of recognition that media occupies a vital place in times of national and international crisis. Wakilishi wodi county ya Kirinyaga wameahidi tena kweza kumtimu wa governor Ann Waigoro baada ya kamati ya senete kusema kwamba hana hatia chochote. The Honorable Senate. While we did not get the result we hoped for, we thank you for your time and commitment to the process. 
we however wish to point out that the body of your report did not speak to your findings for a fact we find it hard to understand how officers under the governor's watch were found culpable while the master was spared coincidentally this was the same case with the now infamous nys scandals wanafunzi wapata wa 88 wamerejea nchini kutoka taifa la sudan kusini baada ya janga la corona kuweza kusambaratisha elimu katika taifa hilo uh, we have been in very difficult situations back in sudan because of the covid and other stuffs in the midst amidst of this thing yani corona or such stuff being far from the people you love is such a breaking thing yani yeah? it's not that we are, we are running away from that place eh? but we feel much better it's much better to die close to your people na tunazungumza na chief officers na executives wa health kwa hizo county nyingine tukisha kupata barua za kuconfirm kwa wao wataweza kuwachukua kutoka Mombasa ndio tutaweza kuachilia lakini kwa, kwa leo watakuwa na sisi Mombasa wote na kesho asubuhi tutawapima wote na mpenzi mtazamaji asante sana kwa kuweza kutegia runinga ya kulmie pamoja na kuweza kufanikisha mpango mzima wa mpasho wa kulmie ni kwa Abdul Hafiz nchini Hali tutakapokutana tena pana pamoja na wewe Mwenyezi Mungu nasema kwa kweli